Welcome back to another one. We got us some shop time today. Um. Met a woman, got engaged, time passed, wedding day, then my feet turned cold at the tone of those wedding bells. I felt bad, everybody got dressed up, but I knew I'd messed up, so I had to If you guys are new to this channel, you're looking at the videos down below and you're like, Man, this guy's all over the place. Yeah, I am all over the place. This morning I just got done editing a barbecue video. Now we're doing a how-to to put the string on your weed whacker. Troy built weed whacker, no less. All right, guys, I've done this like once in my life, and it was a long time ago. First thing we gotta do is we gotta remove this nut. Well, it's not a nut, it's kind of like a... Come on now, let go. That comes off the bottom here, at least it does on the Troy built. So off comes. Got your spring in there. Now the spring, is when you want the string to come out, you bang it on the ground. You bang all this on the ground. That comes in and lets it come back out. It's supposed to let the string come out. The problem I'm having here is the string is all tangled up and doesn't want to release. All I want to do is just cooperate a little bit. Just a little bit. Cooperate just a little bit. You know, I can probably make this work. I'm not quite sure why it's doing what it's doing. I'm really not. Oh, gotcha. Somehow, it got all tangled up inside here. And then did not want to release. Okay. Maybe I don't have to change the string. Now, I'm going to show you all real close. This is just one piece of string wrapped around two spools. Two spools are attached to one. I, I probably would butcher that all to death, but here we go. You divide your string in half, so whatever length you got, you divide it in half. There's a slot right here. You push it down in the slot, that kind of locks it in there. You then... First you have to tell me where you are. Go to location services settings and turn it on. Then scroll to Siri and dictation. Hey, 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 Siri. Once you have it in the slot there, you've got your equal amount of string both sides. Right, this one's still got a little bit wrapped up in here. You'll then wrap this spool. Then you'll wrap this spool. So I think what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and open this up here. We're going to put this back on. I got some new string here that my pop had left over. I was going to put it on, but there's nothing wrong with this one here. It just seemed to get bound up on the bottom down there, which we don't want. So I'm going to take it off and make sure it's on there straight. Come on now. Come on now. All right. So when it comes time to put all this back on, hopefully it's going to show it a little better. I'm thinking maybe I might need a third hand for this, but it is what it is. So there you have it. Okay, so we see we got the string coming out both sides. This is gonna flip over because the spring goes on first. And what we're gonna do is, before we get all this tightened in here, the string fed through the housing. And I'm sure there's fancy words and names for all these parts and whatnot. See how that comes out the bottom there? That goes on there like that, okay? I gotta do the same thing over here on the top. There it is, come on now, there we go. Then this piece here is going to slide on. There we go. We got that. We got that. No, oh, I think I just tightened it too much again. But then you're going to put your cap back on, and that's it. That's the only thing, the only thing I didn't do was change the string. I still have plenty of string on there. This is not exactly sitting prop. There we go. Okay. So now when you bang it on the ground. To let more string out this comes in which allows everything inside to free float hence this trifical force brings your string back out all right now that we got that well it's raining now yeah, what the hell let's do it anyways
hell. What appear we got that demo done just in time. Have a look out there. Raining. Anyway, guys, there isn't a whole lot to changing the string over. You just got to wrap one one direction, one other half the other direction. Put the nut back on and she'll put you to work. My saving grace today is it's raining. She made me cut the grass yesterday, boys. It's all right. Had to be done, but I didn't want to cut it yesterday. I wanted to cut it today because I knew it was going to rain today. Anyway, that's how you change the string on your Troy belt or any other. I have a Troy belt on any other weed whacker. It's not hard, guys. Weed whacker used to be she'd be on her knees out there pulling the weeds out. She bought this. I'm guessing because she didn't want to pull no more weeds. This is fixed, which means I'm going to have work to do. Thankfully, it's raining. Anyway, this is going to conclude our... We've got two minutes in the shop, three minutes in the shop. Probably more than two minutes. Maybe I'll do a new segment called shop time in two minutes probably under the two minute mark now ain't i maybe i should just cut her off right here two minutes still raining it's still sitting here <laughs> oh hey anybody know where i can get a another three of these thinking about putting them on the silverado fellers changing the string on your weed whacker ain't no big thing change the string ain't no big thing the hits just keep coming i will see you on the next one hit the subscribe button while you're here we want you to stick around shop time two minutes shop time i don't want to make it three minutes i don't know where we're at now four minutes maybe five minutes shop time let me know two minutes later